Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a little while since I uh, last uploaded a video. Those of you that subscribe may have noticed. Um, as you can see from my uh, surroundings, these look uh, quite unfamiliar. Um, and that is because I've moved house. And that is the reason why I haven't um, uploaded any videos recently. Obviously I've been preoccupied. However, I have made a new purchase. So that is what we're gonna look at in this video. <laughs> Okay, the new purchase is this. The Suzuki SV1000S. Now, this one is in a pretty sorry looking state. I bought this as uh, salvage from an insurance company. Um, and as you can see, it's had a pretty hard life. Uh, it's looking a bit scuffed, um, dirty, uh, damaged. But this side, is obviously worse as you can see it's had a uh, it's had a bit of a tumble and uh, consequently that is what wrote it off um, things like uh, things like this missing mirrors no clutch uh, lever damage to the indicators scuffs here scuffs on the radiator cover um, nothing too dramatic missing uh, Gear change lever there, it's a little stub. Um, again, this one looking pretty sorry for itself. Damage here, damage here. These are actually bent. I don't know if it's uh, visible on the camera, but both sides they're actually uh, they're actually bent, so they'll need replacing. Uh, obviously, the seat needs replacing. Yeah, screen. Screen's looking pretty sorry for itself. Big dent in the tank. Now, um, obviously, the uh, clutch lever being missing um, is an issue because on Suzuki's you need to pull the clutch in in order to start it. Now, the insurance company did sell this as a non-runner because they said they couldn't get it started, which is obvious when you haven't got a when you haven't got a clutch. Um, a lot of Suzuki's require a clutch to be pulled in. Um, this being one of them. So what I've done is uh, I've actually um, removed the uh, the clutch switch. So it should just be a case of uh, turning the ignition on, pressing the button in, um, simulating the clutch being pulled in, and then it should it should fire um, all being well. So we'll uh, we'll give that a go in just a second. Um, other things of note is the chains looking absolutely woeful. Um, the tyre, the tyre was absolutely um, flat. Than, well, it was flatter than a witch's tip when I uh, when I picked the bike up. Um, I put a little bit of air in it just to make it uh, using my um, electric, uh, my battery powered electric um, tyre inflator, uh, just so I could make it easier to roll the bike. Um, and it seems to be holding air because I did that the other day. Um, obviously, I need to get it up to uh, up to um, its proper pressure. Um, and then leave it a few days to see if it uh, see if it drops off. But hopefully, all being well, um, there won't be anything wrong with that uh, that tire because there's a little bit of life in it. It's not it's not totally dead yet. Um, but if I don't have to buy a new tire, then obviously I won't. Um, obviously, this is the uh, this is the thousand uh, cc V twin motor. Um, my belief is that it's very very similar to that fitted to the TLS. Um, although this has had a lot of uh, other stuff done to it since then, um, it's not uh, it's not exactly the same. But it does. I mean, this bike does share a lot of components with the TLS and the TLR things like the the master cylinders and all that sort of stuff. Um, looking around, uh, looking around eBay for parts, uh, I'm noticing things like these. Cl um, the clutch master cylinder is is the same as the one on the TLR uh, and the TLS. Um, things like that. You know they're trans they transfer over so parts for this bike aren't going to be particularly hard to find um obviously i need a need a mirror 
the uh, I believe the lights the uh, the ignition yeah, the ignition key does seem a bit sticky, but um, maybe it just needs a bit of uh, a bit of lube. Um, I did hear the fuel pump prime then, so that's always a good start. Um, there's a uh, steering damper fitted to this. Um, I believe that comes as factory standard. They probably learnt a lesson with the TLS. Um, one thing I have noticed is that the forks on this are absolutely woeful. They're so soft, so they definitely need a service uh, before this bike can be ridden on the road because they're uh, they're absolutely terrible. Um, so yeah. Um, this is for the uh, heated grips, and again, they're damaged, but I was lucky enough to go to the uh, the Newark Auto Jumble last weekend, where I picked up a full uh, replacement kit, identical kit, for £49, pounds, um, which is a bit of a bargain, uh, if I do, if I may say so, because uh, they, they normally retail for around about the £70 pound mark. So that was a bit of a steal. Uh, so it's just a case of swapping it over. Uh, I need to get a bit uh, a new switch gear. I did I did buy one on the eBay the other day, but the seller cancelled the uh, cancelled the order, saying that they'd actually not got it in stock, which was odd. Um, and I've also ordered a clutch clutch master cylinder and a clutch lever. Um, I've ordered the rear seat. So the rear seat should be here soon. Um, this tank, I'm not sure what to do about it. That is probably, re that, well, it is repairable. So I may just, I may just go down that route. It seems, seems a bit wasteful just to throw it away because there's a dent in the side. Um, things like this, that'll be easy, an easy repair. A little rub down, a little body filler. Um, much the same here, really. The that can probably be plastic welded. I do have a plastic welding kit which I got for my birthday last year from some very good friends of mine, and I have yet to use it because I've not had the need. Um, so that's uh, that's something that I can do uh, in an upcoming video. That'll be uh, that'll be quite an interesting thing to do. Um, so yeah, um, I think what we'll do, what we'll do is. Uh, We'll fire her up and uh, give her a go. So 54 plate. Uh, this is an 05 bike, so uh, 15 years old, and she looks every uh, every bit as old uh, as that. To be fair, it's had uh, it's not had a particularly great life. Um, it's probably been used as a commuter hack by somebody, but I you know I quite like the SV. Um, so why not uh, why not pull it apart, put it back together again nicely, and uh, hopefully at the end. I'll end up with a nice bike um, to go with the rest of the fleet, which are uh, mostly set out there at the moment. Um, yeah, so uh, hopefully, um, hopefully uh, you'll uh, you'll enjoy the videos that I'm going to do uh, with the SV1000. Uh, obviously, I know that uh, some of my scribe subscribers are waiting for me to uh, work on the ZX9R. I was going to do uh, do some videos with uh, that. However, the wife. Uh, the wife suggested it was a good idea to keep it in one whole piece when we were moving house and I was inclined to agree so that's what I did but don't worry about it those people that come to my channel waiting for the ZX9R I will be getting onto it very very soon okay then what we'll do is uh, see if we can get it fired up okay then let's get this bit of plastic out of the way yeah the ignition's a little bit sticky it needs a little bit of a wiggle to Hopefully you can hear that, that's the fuel pump priming. So now, pressing the button does absolutely nothing um, because of the clutch switch. So, what I need to do is just depress the clutch switch, press this button and hopefully she should fire into life, all being well. Well, she's cranking, which is a good sign. I'm not sure how much fuel there is in it. There's a bit. Let's try it again. Yeah, okay. We've got a flat battery. What I'll do, I'll get my jump pack out. We'll uh, fit that up to the battery, and then we'll uh, we'll try again. Okay. So, jump pack connected to the battery. All good. Right. Let's try it. The, the pump sounds different right press the clutch switch press the start button and hopefully we'll get uh, we'll get some life out of it there we go absolutely perfect oil pressure
significant knocks or bangs other than the thump of uh, two dirty great pistons choke myself out so there you go the Suzuki uh, SV1000S please uh, please like subscribe and comment um, and obviously I will uh, keep you appraised in all the videos that uh, that I do with this there's gonna be quite a few this is going to be a, um, a concurrent project along with the ZX9R I'm going to try and run them both uh, simultaneously where I can um, obviously the ZX9Rs are going to be a complete nut and bolt resto whereas this is going to be more of a, um, a you know a, a, a repair a damage repair um, exercise you know getting it up to uh, a roadworthy condition and uh, and then and, you know and then put it back on the road and using it because it's uh, it's a nice bike I do like the uh, I do like these big twins and uh, I'm quite looking forward to uh, quite looking forward to giving it a ride okay well uh, Thanks very much for uh, thanks very much for stopping by. I'll see you all again for the next video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.